Crescent neighborhood. It's the Fox Deluxe, which is actually my go-to beer when I come here. I like it because I don't often drink beer um, either, so it's lighter than a lot of beers and citrusy and not really bitter. So it was a good choice, I thought, for Alex, who also does not drink beer very often, probably less than I do. And we're going to cheers, and he's going to take his first sip of Fox Deluxe. We are here with Bree, the tap room manager, and she's got some insight. Uh, right here we have Fox Deluxe. This is our house IPA. Um, it's been with us from the start. It's got a really great story. Uh, it's named after the Fox Deluxe Brewing Company, which was one of the first breweries to reopen in Grand Rapids after Prohibition. So it's got kind of like roots in the Midwestern. It's a uh, Centennial hop, so it's for fans of Centennial IPA or Too Hardy. It's very citrusy, very florally. I heard the word floral being tossed around. Do <laughs> you taste the floral? I can see the floral. Indeed, the Centennial Hop is a super pungent, flavorful hop. So it goes very well with something that's going to be light on the taste, something that's got a little bit of citrus, something that's got a little bit of uh, spice to it, and all of the flavors in the beer tend to calm that down and also complement it really well. For beer, we compared it with the Grow Vegetable Sandwich. We use a house-made focaccia bread, which is super herbaceous and all of the floral aspects of Fox Lux really bring that out. The idea with pairing food with beer is to complement some of the flavors that you're eating and also um, you know, contradict some of the other flavors that you're eating at the same time without, to create a really nice balance, something that's going to be refreshing and also wake up other senses of the tongue. So we chose that beer. The first 834 cocktail week wasn't really my thing. <laughs> so beer week is more your thing? Beer week is more my thing. I can, I can ease myself into beer a little bit. Better.